Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create matrix report in SSRS. We will be creating our query and then creating matrix report. We will understand row groups and column groups and finally we will add the grand total on the row groups and column groups. Let's go to the SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and take a look. Now here I have product name, item sold, city, state, country and region and uh, this is va uh, th these values are coming from a total sale table now let's go to the ssdt sql server data tools i have already created ssrs project right click on the reports go to add and then new item click on the report and then select the name so i'm going to call this one matrix report matrix report is a summary report and one of the thing about the matrix report we are not sure and especially when we are not sure about the columns those columns can be decreased or increased depending on the values so i'm going to show you what does that i mean with that so right click on the data sources add data source and give the name so let's call this ds sales use the shared data source reference i have created the sales shared data source so that's fine hit ok Click on the data set, add data set and provide the name. Let's call this one D set sales. Use as embedded in my report, select the data source, provide your query and hit OK. Now in the design surface, right click, go to insert and click matrix. It will show this matrix item to you. You will see the rows here, you will see the columns here and you will see the data here. Now. In the rows, whatever you want to display, those will be displayed on the row level and the row side and the, these will be grouped. And also on the column, whatever we want to show on the column. And uh, that's what I was talking about. Let's say if I would like to place uh, the product name on the columns, uh, it is uh, going to show me the product. Uh, let's say if I have two product, uh, TV and cell phone, uh, I will see TV and cell phone on uh, the columns but tomorrow if a new record will be inserted in the product name columns such as computer then i will see the three columns so this is a dynamic this will expand automatically depending on the values or distinct values in the product name column now in the rows let's get the region and then if you see that that's added to row groups right away and the column whatever we have placed on the column that's added to the column groups so here we will be having some of that data so in the case we have we are going to use the item sold and this is going to be summary or sum so that's the sum of item sold is right here and our report is ready now you can see that on the region we see these regions on the rows and then we see the products on the columns so in our case we have four uh, product uh, cell phone computer laptop and TV if tomorrow if cell phone record will be deleted we will uh, only display the computer laptop and TV this is going to happen dynamically so we don't have to make any changes so this is a good part of a matrix reporter let's uh, add another uh, subgroup uh, row I will say another sub uh, row group uh, to the re uh, region so I'm gonna use the country here so I have two ways to do it I can get the country here and once I see this blue line here, I can do it. Or I can place uh, right after the region here. So I'm gonna use uh, this row group and I place the country here. And you, you can see that it's added right here. Now you go ahead, uh, let's color these ones, at least two of them in a different color. So we see that these are the row groups and the other one is our column group. So I'm gonna uh, color the product name different. And I'm gonna make them bold and italic and this is how we will see our report we have region here and then we have country you can make them uh, drill uh, uh, down you can add those plus signs and uh, expand that and all that I have created those reports so you can take a look on that one now we have region here and country and uh, this is where we have a product the same thing can be done you can have region and country here on the columns so let's say you want region on top and then countries and then uh, you want to have products here you can have that as well so let let's go ahead and uh, do that as well so we'll see how it works insert and then add a matrix so i'm adding two matrix and using the same data set on the same report but different uh, presentation so let me expand this part a little and now here i would like to have a region on the column 
then I would like to have country right under that one and I can place that here you can see that region and country comes here and one thing I would like to have it products on the rows and then final thing I need items sold in the data so this one let's say we want to put a line between them so that's how they can make a difference like first one is different from other so get a line and then just expand that part right here and uh, here you can play with this line you can make it uh, more thicker colors and you can write different headings and everything you can use the text boxes to write different headings and here we see our reports so now on the top of what we had here in the row groups we had region and country and the product name on the columns in the second one we have in a different way we have product name here and then we have region on the column and then countries under that so it's your choice the way you want to take a look or your requirement is so you can place multiple row groups or column groups in your matrix report so that was the goal to tell you let's delete this one come back let's delete the row as well now next part we would, what we would like to do we would like to have some of these values on the row and on the columns so I'm gonna click on the sum of items sold right click go to the add total and the row and now I will be seeing the total on the rows so let's take a look how it look like and as you can see that I have the sum per uh, row group so if you see region Asia I have here five and then for uh, Pakistan I don't have any value but I see the total right here if I'm not interested to see the total per region I can go ahead and I can just take the grand total out of it so I don't really care the total by the region here but I would like to have a grand total for the entire um, uh, uh, these cell phone so I would like to have something like that so now let's go to designer and click on the sum what we took here and go again and say add total sorry add total and say row again so it is gonna add another one now you have two totals one is for your ones you have Asia and you have countries here and you see the sum uh, or total right here and the next one you have grand one so that's uh, like five and then it's adding two and this one and then it is adding North America to that's make it a nine if I'm not interested to have this total I can simply go and remove so let's take this one click here and remove now we have a kind of grand total so you can also remove this total if you don't like this total keyword here for the country and now we have a grand total by the rows here so you can see that and right here let me take this one this we don't need this total keyword and let's uh, color this one so we can see things better <laughs> with the colors I always have problem like what to select okay no big deal and uh, now our report looks much better we see we have the sum on this level but we would like to have a sum on uh, this level as well we let's say we have uh, cell phone five cell phone and uh, two TV we want to see seven around here and uh, we would like to have the same way on the other side column side so I'm gonna click on this one again go and add total and say column so now it will be adding uh, the items on the column side so let's see how it work let's make this one a little big and as we can see that uh, in India we sold five cell phones and then uh, for two TV and the total was the seven so this is how we will be able to add uh, the rows uh, values or the column values and now you can see for uh, let's say for France we have seven and then we have ten that make a total of seventeen and uh, those values will be displayed here one more thing I want to make this one a little better so I can give you different colors so for this total I would like to say uh, different color a little bit we are done with the report part uh, just I'm um, making some adjustments so uh, we can show you better results so make it small you like this okay now your report is coming on one page and you can see that we have region on the rows we have country on the rows and then we have total of those values sold in each each of the uh, 
region and country and in this case if we see that cell phone total cell phones sold in all the region and in all the countries is nine and if we would like to take a look on the other side we we'll say in Asia uh, how many cell phones uh, and uh, other products were sold so those are seven so this is how you will be uh, adding uh, those uh, values uh, on the rows and columns and creating your beautiful and uh, informative uh, matrix reports uh, I have created another uh, video how to use the interactive sorting on matrix that's pretty interesting if you would like to take a look on that one and uh, you can use the parameters whatever the same way we use with the tablets and other reports uh, matrix is no different uh, and uh, you can use uh, in, in this case I'm let's say I have countries that I want to show only for North America region or for only Asia so I can create a parameter report uh, where it's accept uh, region and then cascading parameter with the country so I have that video as well where you create a cascade parameter and depending upon the region you will be only seeing those countries and uh, you will be able to uh, handle or uh, see more uh, information uh, such as uh, if your users are only interested to see or s filter the records according to their region uh, so you will be able to do that by using parameters uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video